Fish in Australia here today. Me and mum are down on the Tamar River in the north of Tasmania. It's a 70 kilometer river that winds from Launceston all the way up to the top um, mouth of Tasmania and it's Launceston's main river. So today we're just going to be fishing. Oh, I just casted them out. Um, we're just gonna, I've got a strike tiger grub and a strike tiger jig head on, one eighth, and we are just going to be searching for wrasses. We've already caught a few, got photos of them, but didn't grab out the GoPro because we went we went for salmon, but um, the salmon are a bit here and they're a bit there, so we thought we'd just go and get some wrasses. So yeah, anyway, so we're just fishing these weedy patches, letting it sink into the weed where the wrasses are, and then they're coming out and tapping it, and we're getting on. So. Yeah, see you guys when we're on. This video is proudly sponsored by All Goods Launceston. All your outdoor clothing needs and the best rods and great Tasmanian lures. Make sure you head in next time you're in Launceston and enjoy the rest of the video. Guys, we are on. Oh, it's not a bad race. And there he goes. So um, I've never tried wrasse before in my life. I, I love catching wrasse because they will hit. A, they will hit most things, and they're great fighting fish. But I've never tried them. Some say they taste great. Some say they're absolutely horrible. So um, I think today's gonna be the day that we try them and I'm going to do a wrasse catch and cook so this one is oh so oh. <laughs> he's legit just exact oh he only needs to go there he, he, he's 35 centimeters so um yeah this one will be one that goes on the dinner plate tonight and we'll see how they go. And that's the lure that did it. Strike Tiger three inch minnow in mint jelly. They're available at All Goods for only, how much are they a pack? 10.95 and you get 10. And it's just had these huge wrasse teeth in them. I'll show you their teeth. Teeth in them, I'll show you their teeth. I don't think he wants to show you their teeth. They're their wrasse teeth, I'll try and get a photo of them, and I will show them now. So yeah, that's their teeth, and this plastic is completely fine and ready to catch another wrasse on. So yeah, we'll keep on fishing and see you guys when we're on again. Phew. So guys, let's just grab a photo with him, and now we're gonna... Uh, we're gonna do the killing part. So they're like salmon, trout, all that. To kill them, you just want to bleed them. So get behind their gills like this. Just make some cuts, get them bleeding. like that then you want to chuck them in your yeti bucket and let him bleed out and then we'll worry about scaling them in that later on so that's fresh fish in we might only keep i don't know not many because i've never tried them before so i might only keep three but i, I reckon they'll taste all right because i like leather jacket I, I love eating leather jacket and they live in the exact same habitat and eat pretty much the exact same stuff as wrasse so yeah also one thing with wrasse on their top fin 
they've got a pretty nasty spike. They're not like flooded, which make you bleed. They're just not the best because they sting a little bit and yeah. So try not to get spiked and yeah, we'll get some more on the strike tiger. Ew. They do that. Now it's all shallow. And not shallow, um. Sandy. Yeah. Over there. Was a goat fish. He's just there, Dylan. Yeah, he, he's but he's gone though. That was a goat fish. Damn! That was would have been my first goat fish. Damn it! I just thought it was a rat, so I just wanted it in. Then it was pink. Oh damn it! No. Nah. Damn. So guys, this was legit just as soon as I um, stopped filming the other video. Oh, legit just as soon as I stopped filming because we both lost one. I hooked up. Uh, I don't think that one will be size. But another one on the taken on the strike tiger. Grab a photo with him, and then we'll check him back. <laughs> but I'm not, I'm not going to. Yeah, mum. Yes, mum. Oh, just swing him up. So there's another little ras. That one definitely not size. That one's definitely not the 30. Um, but yeah, another ras on the board. Get the plastic out of his mouth and chuck him back. Stuff mum. Fish on. Another one. Oh, don't go down there. Another one on the strike tiger. Oh. So while I'm untangling my rod, I'll talk to you about the rod. The rod that I'm using and that I always use is my very lightweight rod is one of the Crucius rods. I use the Crucius there it is, AEGI602, uh, A. Ah, Mum just decided she'd catch another fish. Um, so yeah, it's the Crucius AEGIS6023. It's a one to two, a one to three kilo rod, and it is super lightweight, and it really bends. Um, these are a really great rod for like the 100 to 150 range and they're available at all goods for like the cheapest price you'll find in Tasmania and I just love them they bend so much makes you makes your fish go really hard love catching anything on them so um yeah so make sure if you're interested in there go into all goods and oh wow 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 make sure you go into all goods and try and and okay let me repeat that let 
make sure you go into All Goods and have a look at them if you're interested in buying them. And yeah, so anyway, we'll get on to another one. Mum's on. Oh, I saved the tangle. So these rash are absolutely smashing it. Stuff mum. Josh. Nice. So guys, um pretty much I was I did a silly billy and I Oh got a scale in my mouth. Ugh. I thought I was recording um and I wasn't. I caught another fish on the strike tiger and mum's got a another ass and this one is 31 centimeters so is one that will go in the yeti bucket ah it, it comes ah. so i'll just show you where that's those that spike is so it it's one of these ones they always seem to get into it and they're pretty sharp so just watch that i think oh he's bleeding you hooked him real good i think yeah they've also got a few under here and these ones are good these ones are good but under and up top they're spiky so just that's one thing to always watch out oh just stop that's one thing to always watch out that's one thing to always watch out for if you're catching a few of these rests like well or if you're just catching them in general to release nice fish farm Oh yeah, the rides are behind us. Yes, mum. Yeah. Fish on. Yeah, I recorded it too. Get into it, mum. Get me here. Oh, he was chasing it. <laughs> well, there's another thing that loves the... I'll get us chasing him. There's another thing that loves the... The Strike Tiger. Two inch, uh, three inch minnow. Salmon seem to like it too, so. Yeah, hopefully we can get a few more of them. Oh my God, where are we going? Oh yeah, mum. Oh yeah. Yeah, mum. Get him, mum. Yeah, mum, get into him. Ah, uh, uh. oh, my salmon's in there. <laughs> uh, there we go. Second salmon on. In the board. Oh, one chase followed it all the way in.
いやいやフィッシュオンおおカイモフイエーマンおおこれはラスチェイスのマンジェイズ、マスターワンダーゲリンマンゲリンのウィンジェスウィンマンフィアークウェイダーゴーナイスマーム What snapped? Where'd they go? Where'd they go? Where'd they go? Back up here. Fish on. Oh yeah. Oh ah 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 ah. Hang on, keep the fish out. There we go. He snagged me, plastic the dog. What a dog. No, he just snagged me, plastic. Ah. Shit, shit, shit. Yeah, mum. Mum's on. Get him doing, mum. Surely doubles. Damn. No, just. Good fish, mum. He's a stonker. Yeah, mum, nice. So guys, this is our keep from the day. We got eight salmon.
me. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight salmon. And these two ras, which we're gonna go home and cook up. Pretty much what I'm gonna do, what I'm gonna do with them is just gonna fillet them. So just cut up there, I will just do a time that time.
right, I haven't done one of these in a while, but we're just gonna get right into it. So pretty much showed you everything that we got. We've got the temp set to 180 and also got our chips, which I forgot to hold down in the edit. Um, but yeah, so pretty much the what never really ate these fish. It never really, never really ate ras before. Heard they're all right. Don't know if they're all right. Gonna try them out. Hope they're all right. If not, Penny gets them. So I reckon Penny's gonna be watching the whole thing. Um, so pretty much, Mom. It goes flour, eggs, breadcrumbs, doesn't it? The chef has spoken. So, oh, that's probably a bit too much. Got our flour, just chuck her in a bowl. Then, egg. So, just throw it. So I got our egg. Chuck a squeeze of milk in there. And we'll give her a squeeze. That's what we're looking at at the moment. But yeah, then we'll chuck a bit of this and a bit of that in. So. Just got some basic table salt. Chuck a bit of, bit of that in. Oh, bit of spill a bit. Chuck a, got a bit of pepper. Chuck, chuck a bit of that. Oh, that was a lot of pepper. Um, apparently, we don't put this in here. We put this in the flour. But oh well, a bit of extra spice. Um, So, take that back, curry. Ooh. Bit like that, and also about the same amount of this turmeric, I guess. <laughs> Shake that all about. Or, I mean, you could do it normally and just put it in the flour. Or you could do what I do and just put a bit in everything. I mean, it's not going to matter really. Whiskey, whiskey, whiskey. Breadcrumbs. Do we, do we put any curry in that? No? No curry in that? So that's that. Can you just quickly come and check that, make sure my head's in the frame? So I've got a horrible feeling that my head's not in the frame. Can't see anything. Tap the screen. My head's in the frame. So my head's, so, my, okay. My head's in the frame? Yep. Okay. Continuing on now that I realize my head is actually in the frame. We've got our breadcrumbs. Put some milk in, oh no, <laughs> never mind. So, so that's all of our ingredients done. So now we've got our lovely rasp that comes out of, you already cut it up in a little bit. I took the bones out for uh, you. So the bones are out, thanks. Oops, Tracy, mum. Thanks to mum. Compost. So the bones are out of it, so that's that. So how big you know like your nuggy nug nugs? It's up to you. It's up to you. Some 
like a big, like. Depends what you like. Have some nuggets like that, have some small ones. Just make sure you do what mum did and get the bones out of them first because you don't want bones in your nuggets. And yeah, pretty much just cut them up into little nugget sizes. I like mine. Pretty thick. This is like exactly the same way as I cook my redfin perch. So, yeah. That'll do. So anyway, after you got your nuggets looking like that, Oh, that'll, that'll, that'll do. After you got your nuggets looking like that, you want to actually misk, whisk in all your egg. And then you want to go through it like a sequence. So you want to put it in the flour and spices. Just cover it up like that. With that, make sure you shake it off. And you want to put it in the egg, cover it in the egg, and make sure to take it off. Preferably, you would do this like one hand for the dry stuff, one hand for the. Penny, off the chair. Turn the camera around. Good deal. Preferably, you would do it off with like one hand. So one hand for wet stuff and one hand for dry stuff, but I'm not really that smart. Um, and then after you've shaken it off, put it in the breadcrumbs. Do it up like that. And then there That is what we've got. All oh, them are crumbed. We've got our leftovers. God knows what you do with them, but yeah. So pretty much, just gonna take that off. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Hopefully, yeah. We'll. If worse comes to worse, they only cook as one whole thing. I mean, how bad can that go? <laughs> and then chuck our lid on. Just cook them like. Well, when I do this with red food, I only cook them for about three minutes at 180 degrees. So I might do it for three to four and then I'll bring them out. So I'll see you guys once that's done. Rightio, let's have a look. It's been about three, four minutes. Ooh, they're looking ready. Look at that nice, crispy brown. I'll get close enough so I'm not burning myself. But yeah. Oh, I'm actually scared to try them. So they're like, I'm not sure if I've said this already, but they're a very weedy fish. Like, they live in the same... Ooh. They live in the same areas. 
They live in the same areas as Leather Jacket, and I really like wet Leather Jacket. Leather Jacket have a white flesh, they have a white flesh. So, they eat the same sort of thing, so technically I should like them, but we'll see. So anyway. Chuck them all onto a plate. Chuck some chips in there later. So that's what they look like, like very white, like. Ah. Four hours later. Actually not bad. They actually like taste like leather jacket, which like makes sense. Ah, stop burning me. I think that's a bit salt from the beach, but um, They legit taste like leather jacket, so, I mean, they're not bad, I don't mind them, I'm actually going to eat this whole plate. <laughs> um, so, yeah, that's going to be it. Thank you very much for watching to the end of this video, because it's going to be a very long one, it's going to be like 30 odd minutes long. So, if you're still watching at the end of this, you're like a legend, so, good on you for that. And, yeah, so like, all the products... We use today Strike Tigers, Crucius, Jinkai Leaders, all that. They're available in all goods. So make sure you go in there and get them. And yeah, that's going to be it. So cheers for sticking around this long. And I'll see you guys next time.